Hi, Vilas Killer J here. And this is Retro Gaming Star. Yeah, he's back. He's in the virtual studio for season 22, so we're going to play some gameplay. This well, it looks is, like we're playing or reviewing X the Fight for the Xbox. Yeah, and PS5. Oh, dang, it's on PlayStation 2? On PlayStation 5, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of good things about this game. It's it's a lot of fun if you want to like play like like against each other and stuff or do team death matches and shit. Like it's fun. It is. Yeah. The graphics are pretty like, good in this game, game. This game kind of reminds me a lot. Of, like this game reminds me a lot of Halo or something. I know. Because of a lot, a lot of the um, the like the design of it reminds me of Halo. I used to play. I started playing Halo around Halo three or Halo four. Yeah. Do you used to play multiplayer on that? Yeah, I did. It was fun. We did it with friends. Nice. This back when I had my three sixty. Yeah, that's good. This is made by Ubisoft. This one here. Ubisoft makes very good games. Yeah. They have a good track record so far. They made the Rayman games, they made Rayman Rabbits, they made a bunch of good games. Oh yeah, for sure. Ubisoft has made so many great games that make your head spin. Yeah, true. Yeah, like, I discovered Ubisoft through Rayman, the Rayman games, and then I, and then I look at this and it's like, wow. You told me that this game was made by Ubisoft. I was surprised as hell, dude. Like this game sounds totally wicked. Like I, I got, I gotta probably get a PS5 so I can play this game. Oh yeah. I think this game sounds so fun. Like you're running around shooting, you're, you're shooting up people, <sighs> and and you're doing this stuff. You're doing this for fun. You're not, you're not, you know. I'm doing it for fun, you're yeah. Shooting people in real life. You're doing this for fun in, in a video game. You know what I'm saying? I'm just playing for fun. Yeah, you, you get to play with friends and you get to... Also, I know you, you can also, like, with, with most FPS first-person shooters, if you don't have a weapon, you can just use your fists to beat your opponents. Yeah. Like, for example, the Go the GoldenEye games, like the multiplayer, you get to use your opponent... You get to beat oh. your opponent with your fist. Or if you have a weapon, you can use that. Or knife your opponent to death. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I noticed that with a lot of good Xbox, good um, GoldenEye games, and a good um, for FPS games. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, like, I remember one time when I was a kid, I was playing Doom. And yeah. I had no weapons, but I still got past the level because I was, um, beating, beating the, beating the, um, demons with my fist. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was so much fun, but this game is fun, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Just from looking at the footage of it, it's really fun. Yeah. And it's actually got and audio, too. It's actually got audio, also, too. Also, you wanna know what I noticed about um, people that are online? What's on? Like, they, they get... People can say some really nasty stuff online to you, dude. When you're playing... Up, especially with first-person shooters. I noticed that. It's crazy, man. Like people, that's why I don't. That, that's why I don't longer play online because a lot of people can get salty. They can call you names. They can say me, the meanest stuff alive to you, man. I know. But I stop playing online. That's why I play offline, especially with. If I'm playing the first. And like, to be honest, if you don't play a first minute share, I'll play that offline. But um, that's just. I, but that's just me. I digress. So yeah. Exactly. What are your thoughts on this game, Killer J? I thought it was fun. Just you easily get easily get frags in this game if you're really good at it. The gameplay is fun. It's fluid and it's fun to play a game like this. You get to pick your own class from different Ubisoft franchises like The Division, Splinter Cell, bunch of other ones, Watch Dogs. Oh, that's cool. Like, you motherfucking ass, bro. That sounds cool. I know it is. Really yeah, it's so one of the best things about first person shooter. I'm glad they're getting they're jumping back in the saddle with that. What well, well fucking time. Yeah, about fucking time indeed, man. It took a while, but right, Christ. Oh by the way, Kirchia, I watched your video about the pizza the pizza video. That was that was 
beautiful. I love that. Oh yeah. I love the comments after the pizza is Little Caesars because that whole um the whole um cheesy bread pizza when it didn't add any toppings. I know that's good. It's really tasty, but uh, well, we're ta we'll get on that later. But um, anyways, like I'm glad they're getting back in the saddle with first person shooters because a lot of a lot of them they can be hit or miss sometimes. In my honest opinion. Honestly, yes. Correct. Yeah. So um. I think that a lot of people like they 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 like they make not nowadays they're making they're getting yeah. back in the south because they're making good games and they want to make money off their games so I know. they decide to make the games good and make it playable you know yeah like if, if I do ever get a PS5 Killer J I'm gonna um I'm gonna probably unbox it and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a really good I'm gonna get this game and probably Street Fighter Six. No, yeah. she, no, she probably says I'll get my PS4, but maybe I'll get this game because yeah. after what after what you showed me, I I want I want to play it now. And more people people see online too. Yeah, I know, I know, man, I know, I know, dude. But I'm um, seriously, I want to play this game. Like you a should. lot of the games that, I, that that we've reviewed, I want to play them because I've never heard of them before. Um, it was like like. I remember, that, I remember a, a lot of times we would like play, like we review games and I never get to play them, but now I do now because um I own the, the required system to play it, but yeah, you know, I need to get a play, I need, I need to get a PlayStation Five like really bad. Yeah, now we reviewed Hi-Fi Rush. Yeah, Hi-Fi Rush, definitely gotta jump on that game, Hi-Fi Rush. Yeah. I need an Xbox, I gotta play that game, Hi-Fi Rush. I heard about it. Yeah. Well, that's well, this is just completely destroying, destroying the competition. Oh yeah. Look at the game I see the guy just destroying everybody. Yeah, I know. It's insane. This game is so fun. I like it when you play with your friends, not online with a bunch of random strangers, but with your friends, people that you know. You know what I'm saying? I understand. It's fair. It is like so fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this game is amazing. So, what are your final thoughts on this game, Killer J? Well, there's a lot more details of going next to fight. It is fun, don't get me wrong. I do like the multiplayer. It was an open beta thing I tried out. It was for free. It was a free thing on Xbox. For a few days, you could get it there. But I think they're gonna release the full game soon, but... Overall, multiplayer-wise, it is fun. Yeah, but you, if you get frags on randoms, it's good. You get a couple of frags on random strangers. But there is fun to be had here. Even if you do... Yeah, I agree. I think that all FPS first-person shooters should be fun, you know? Yeah. I agree with you, Killer J. For once, I actually agree with you. It should be really fun. That's what it should be. You're playing a game, having hanging out there. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, which I'm gonna hang out with a lot with a lot of my friends. I want to be able to play this game because this game is a lot of fun. And um, Killer J, if I if I ever do get a PS5, I'll probably I'll probably I'll give it, give you a shout out, dude. Yeah. All right, cool. And Retro is yeah, made but, Retro made his tour in the Virtual Studio. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I'm true that man. This is his first tour in this in the setup there. Yes, yeah, but, um, um, my final thoughts on this game, I think this game is fun, I don't think there's nothing wrong with it, there's no bugs, no glitches, it sounds like a really fun game, so, I want to say this, I'll, I'll give this game probably like a, a 9, a 9 out of, a 9 out of, an 8 out of 9, because it's, it looks, it looks pretty promising, I'm not going to lie. Alright, I'll give this game a, a 9 out of 10, it is fun to be had. It is a fun multiplayer romp, and it is, it is addicting, it's just playing this game is really fun. That's why I wanted to play, it was a really fun game. A really fun multiplayer yeah, game. I just... too. I want to play this game now. Yeah, you should anyway, play it. anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been your host, Killer J. And Retro. And Retro Gaming Star. You know, sign out. Please subscribe to this man. He does a lot of good content. Subscribe to his like rebooted series. I, I really love the work the work he puts into it, and, and that's all I gotta say. So, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are: if you haven't tried X to Fight, you should try it out. 
and it is fun multiplayer and a very addicting multiplayer. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed so the. Have fun, you guys. Catch y'all later. It's been the dynamic duo signing out.